Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Monster Hunter World Iceborne livestream. We're on the PC again. We've had our two PlayStation streams. Now we're back on the PC. We're going to have two PC streams. We'll rotate back to the Xbox right after that. Hey, what console are you playing on? We're on the PC. Check the thumbnail. The bottom right-hand corner always tells you what we're playing on. So, how is it going, everyone? It is Friday, right? It's Friday, the best day. It's quarantine Friday. <laughs> and I'm still working because my job can be done from a computer. So, I wonder if there's a bunch of people who are just out of work, just laying at home watching TV right now. Hopefully you guys are applying for jobs. Mezzy says, hello. How's it going, Mezzy? EM says, yo, what's up? How's it going, man? It is Friday afternoon, 4 o'clock. 4 o'clock for me. I don't know about you guys. I suppose it's 6 o'clock in New York. And then it would be 2 o'clock in California. You finally didn't do a 3 a.m. stream. I know it's amazing. <laughs> We're going to have this stream, and then right afterwards, I'm going to do my card stream. Cephalopod says, been a while. Happy Friday. How's it going, man? Here we are. I don't have anything scheduled to do in particular. I think what should happen is people should join the session and post uh, the quest they would like to work on, and I'll join that quest if they post it, okay? English Bob says, evening from the UK. Sweet. It's 10 o'clock in the UK, right? That was a good time to stream then. Everyone's up. Five in New York, silly nilly. Oh, I'm sorry. Five in New York, two in California. You're right. I always messed that up. Josh says, how's your day been going? Very easy. I woke up. My wife made potatoes, so I ate potatoes. And then, what did I do? I watched some memes on the internet, which is a huge waste of time, but I, I can't help myself. And then I started up the stream. I almost went straight to the card stream. I almost did that. But I was like, you know what? I think we have time for a regular stream on my main channel. So we're going to come over here and play some Monster Hunter. And I'm going to open up like $5 million of Pokemon cards. Why do these girls only go for these chaz that treat them bad and ignore the nice guys such as I am? <laughs> Wait, is that, is that a funny question or is that a serious, serious question, Halid? Why do the girls go for the chads that treat them bad and ignore the nice guys? Uh, if you're asking that seriously, uh, I, can, I think a lot of people kind of understand it at this point. You know, uh, women are attracted, in my opinion, to powerful men. Uh, men who are more powerful than they are. Uh, and the problem is, when guys are real successful at finding a partner, like maybe they're tall, maybe they're handsome looking, maybe they got rich parents, maybe they're good athletically, the thing is, they get to kind of pick whatever girl they want. So what happens is, they, quote, treat the girls bad, but really what's going on is, these guys are picking the girl that they want, and, you know, maybe they're dating them and realizing, hey, I don't need you, I'm going to a different girl, I don't like you. So, uh, and then you have the guys, the nice guys, are usually somebody who struggles a little more, and... <laughs> Because they don't have as much to offer, maybe. Maybe you don't look as handsome. Maybe you're not as tall. Maybe you're not as athletic. Maybe you're not as wealthy. Maybe you're not as intelligent. Whatever the case is, you call yourself a nice guy. <laughs> and uh, and then you're like, why won't they date me? I mean, it's really obvious why they won't date you. You need to go do some weightlifting and join a sports team. <laughs> There's girls out there. There's a lot of girls. Find a shorter girl. 11 p.m. in Germany. Woo! In Deutschland. What you hunting... Anything you guys want to hunt, today, if you guys post a quest to the board, I will join that quest. I'm still doing work from this e-learning. E-learning? <laughs> it's funny because e-learning doesn't teach you how to do anything like run a business, sadly. Well, there's probably business classes. Never mind, I see the symbols. Alright, let's go ahead and close down the session info screen that I usually have at the beginning of the... Let's see how many people are in here. We got some people in here. Sweet! Let's see if anyone posted a quest. Somebody did. We're going to do All That Glitters is Furious with Icon Princess. And let's see what kind of build I'm running. I'll probably just run this build. I think this is a... What do I hear over there? You getting in your jammies? <laughs> Are you done with work today? Do you want to host this... Do you want to host this stream? No, I'm not done with work. Oh, you're not done with work? Okay. <laughs> All right, hold on. Quip over here trying to make me risk it all. Here we go. So we have Tigrix Essence on this build, which means you've given up attack increase five. But what it also means is you can put together a pretty nice uh, free meal secret build with only two pieces of the Tigrix armor set. So it, apparently that's what I've done. Wide range, max might, health boost, crit boost, weakness exploit, free meal, speed eating, 
Uh, we got a little bit of Kurt Eye, Heartbreaker. So there we go. Max Might Secret and Free Meal Secret are on the build. I think we put this together at the last minute on the uh, previous time we were on the PC. My PC account really does not have that much. So it's a pretty poor account. Alright, there we go. I'm going to go ahead and eat. Solo with hammer. Milk, milk, lemon around the corner fudge just made. What? Hey, TCC, you going to sing? That's right. Why would I be singing? Did I miss something? Did I miss a donation or something? Oh, maybe not. No Animal Crossing stream with Quip. You know, she just works so hard. She really does. She has a regular full-time job, but, like, everyone was fired at her job. So all these other software engineers got fired and laid off. And so it's just her and, like, a few other people running all of their software now. So basically, she gets paid uh, less money to do much more work now. And that's because of the whole issue with the uh, coronavirus pandemic. That She works for a car rental company, a really big one. But the thing is, they lost, like, almost all their business. Nobody's traveling. Nobody's leaving their home. There's almost no rentals at all. They, they closed down their offices all over all over the place, all over the country. They closed down their offices. Uh, and the car rental business industry is very closely related to, like, the airlines. Basically, people rent a car after they go traveling. So they're down to, like, probably, like, 25% of their business is what's left. If that, I don't even know. Like, they know. I don't know. Uh, it's really bad. So it's just her and like a few people running the whole thing now. So she gets to work all the time. Karaoke stream. I don't know. Karaoke stream. You guys hear my terrible singing voice? In psychology, I believe it's called the pack mentality. Girls go to the guy they believe to be the alpha, like Game Convo said. It could be many things. I'd say... Be well, and again, so if you're wondering... One of the funny thing is, they always say the guy who treats her like an asshole. But it's like... Well, this guy probably has a lot of options on who he has to date. So he doesn't have to be nice to her. You know, this belief that I'm nice and he's not is just totally inaccurate. Uh, I think most guys are actually pretty much assholes. Most guys are. Whether they're on the lower end of the spectrum of, of like, mating value. In other words, maybe you're a little ugly, short, poor, and not that intelligent. So you're on the lower end. Doesn't mean you're a nice guy. You just... You try to be nice as a, as a form of strategy to be dateable. Like, okay, well, I don't have any of the other things. I'll just be nicer to her. <laughs> and it's really funny. It's always really funny to, to hear about it because everyone's kind of figured you out. Like, <laughs> you're, you don't have anything else to offer. Oops, I did it again. I played with your heart. Oh my it's god, is that cheese? Baby, oops, That's Britney Spears. Everyone knows that one, cheese. I'm not that innocent. <laughs> I'm not that innocent. Who else stays at home with full payment, says Halid. I want to stay home at f with full payment. Dude, that's ridiculous, staying home with full payment. It's, it's a little bit frustrating. I get the point of it, but it's, it's kind of like... That's government money being printed and handed out when America has tons of debt. Cheese says, I have a huge PP. That's right. If you Guys, if you just have a huge PP, you don't have to be nice to girls. One... Two... Three. You know what? We have... I just remembered. We have the wide range skill. So we need to be handing this out. So here's the Mega Demon Drug. Here's the de Demon Powder. And here is the Might Seed. Alright, so everyone's had Might Seed and Demon Powder. And Mega Demon Drug. So that's what you do with wide range 5. The huge... Uh-oh. Am I going to die? Nope. The huge buff you give out to everyone. The damage buff is really useful. Cheese says, turn up Streamlabs. Alright, but then I got to turn down my music. Give me a moment. I'm trying to figure out. Does Streamlabs come through the microphone, or does it come through OBS? I guess that's something I need to test. Okay. If you could make one all-rounder hunting horn, what would it be? Ooh, I'm gonna die. If I could make one all-rounder hunting horn... I've talked about changes I'd like to see to the hunting horn. I'd like to see them get rid of Attack Up Extra Large. Because basically, Attack Up Extra Large has become mandatory. So I'd like to see them get rid of it. And then I'd like to see a straight damage buff to the horn, so that you deal damage that is similar to what the hammer deals. And then I'd like the buffs to be more along the lines of... Uh, 
active buffs, kind of like you have the impact echo waves. I think impact echo waves was a really good idea. So get rid of the get rid of the performance. I'm sorry, what do they call that? The the improvement buff and get rid of the attack up extra large buff entirely. They should just get rid of both of those. And then, ooh, we can help this guy with our dash juice too. And then start focusing on buffs that you activate one time and it's gone, rather than just passive buffs. The problem with passive buffs, they're very similar to like, they're very similar to eating a mite seed. Okay, so you eat a mite seed, you help the team out, that's nice. But it's so boring. It's a really boring buff. You don't get excited to cast it at all. It just feels like a chore to cast. And then you do less damage than the hammer, so you're, you're really just there to cast those buffs. Because otherwise, if you wanted to do more damage, you'd just swap weapon. So it's very frustrating in that regard. And I think that it's one of the reasons why the hunting horn is the least played weapon on many consoles, many platforms. Two of the platforms is going to be the least popular. One of the platforms is going to be the second least popular. It's actually going to be the lance in last place on that platform. So it, it, it could use some, in my opinion, some serious design changes. I like that boom boom pow them chickens oh my jacking God. my style. <laughs> they try to copy my swag or I am on. That next ship now I am so oh 2080 so 2000 and late. Did she not? She didn't censor the uh, you saying uh, one of the curse words. Also, it seems like Streamlabs is not working. Oh, wow, Streamlabs isn't working on for me. I, I can't actually see the donation. <laughs> So I'm curious, how are you guys how are you guys actually hearing the Streamlabs donations? Are they coming in Are they coming in through the microphone or are they coming in through the computer? If they're coming through the computer, you should hear that sh you should hear it come in twice. I guess that's probably the clue. So do you guys hear the Streamlabs donation twice or once? Would I ever play a game like Elder Scrolls Online? Uh, I played Elder Scrolls Online with my wife uh, before I was a YouTuber. And I actually played it an enormous amount with her. I played it, like, all day long. So I probably wouldn't go back to it, though. I, I've heard they've done a lot of expanding for it, but, you know, I think I got bored of it at some point and stopped playing. Should I buy Iceborne? Sure, why not? The incoming Iceborne boss is in the house. <laughs> that would be pretty funny. At least then the house would be uh, not pointless. The house in Iceborne is basically just a vehicle for them to sell you microtransactions. That's a fact. So they use the house to sell you microtransactions. Uh, I would just prefer to have more monsters, personally. No house, more monsters. Wow, you guys take a lot of damage. I keep healing you. Whee! Okay, so you guys are hearing the Streamlabs once. That means you only hear it come through the microphone. That's interesting to know. Don't knock me off. Oh, he did. What was that? It's like he hit me, but it's like he didn't hit me at the same time. You want to know why this fight is going so poorly, why we're doing no damage? It's because I'm healing rather than doing damage myself. And then we have... Oh! <laughs> we have one guy using the lance, so there's basically no damage on the team, but it's a four-player fight. My teammate's getting smoked, man! Oh, God! That was awful! Alexa, no! Icon Princess is in trouble. This is when the super healer comes in handy. Oh, he hit the bow player too. What the hell? Oh my god. Alright. God Terror Boy says, I'm getting bored of playing solo on Iceborne. Can you get me some Dracolites? I can get you some Dracolites. Do you consider the game as playable alone? No, I think the game is actually a lot less fun when you play by yourself, to be honest. I think most of the fun of the game is in multiplayer. There are people who go into, like, speedrunning, and I think that's really cool. I think uh, speedrunners get some really impressive runs, and they're, they're basically experts at the game, right? 
Uh, but I couldn't do it because I'd get bored. I, I really enjoy the multiplayer aspect. It's why I want more fights like the Extreme Behemoth. Extreme Behemoth is like a difficult fight, but it's for multiplayer. God damn, dude. Oh, okay, he wasn't enraged, so he didn't do the big attack. Getting tremored by this guy. Do you have any good suggestions for stock to invest in right now? I would be very careful about investing right now. So my opinion of the stock market is uncertainty. Um, one of the problems with the stock market right now is we haven't seen any dividends really posted by major companies. That will take a little while. The way it works is companies post their earnings, okay? And we're waiting for them to post their earnings so that we, we can get an impression of, of how the economy is doing with the number of people who uh, applied for unemployment, I think that, <laughs> well, hold on. First of all, let me thank EM for the donation. He says, great sort for life. <laughs> so that doesn't distract me anymore. But basically it's like this. So the stock market really crashed with the coronavirus pandemic. You saw a lot of sell off. And then right afterwards, you see a small kind of like rally right afterwards. So if you look at the stock market right now, a lot of stock, kind of came back a little bit, but not all the way, just a little bit. And in my opinion, we could be overvaluing stocks right now based on the fact that there's so much unemployment. But the in the long term, I think the issue here is that the economy is going to shrink because of the public's natural fear of the virus. Okay, so Donald Trump and everyone can lift the, they can lift the, uh, the lockdown. They could do that, sure. That doesn't mean anyone's going to actually, oh my God, I'm almost dead. That doesn't mean anyone's going to want to do the things they used to do, like go to the movie theaters or, or go out to a restaurant or go to a football game. I don't think any of that's going to return very quickly. I think it'll take almost a year for that to return, like a full year. And so my prediction for the stock market is after the next quarter earnings are posted by all the companies, people are going to realize that it's a little worse than they, you know, they're, they're optimistic about owning stock, but they're going to realize there's just no money being made by the companies right now because people aren't going out and buying stuff. They're buying food. Certain companies will do really well. Like for example, uh, you know, if you want to look into companies that do teleconferencing, those companies are gonna do well. If you're going to look into maybe like technology companies, those might be a little uh, cheaper than usual. But honestly, I don't think they're that much cheaper. I think that the fact that they've shrunk in value isn't just you buying the stocks, you know, at a reduced rate, like undervalued rate might be their actual real price. So you can go in and buy technology stock probably. Uh, there was a while earlier where the oil stocks were real cheap because of the fight between Russia and Saudi Arabia going on. But even that's kind of been resolved and the oil stocks rallied a little bit after that. So I would just be very careful right now, okay? This is a, a time where we're, we're still waiting to find out just how bad the economy is and stockpiling a little bit of your cash might be sm smarter than straight up buying stock. The problem is, if it turns out the company still posts really good profits, you're going to wish you had bought stock. My prediction is that they will not post really good earnings. That's my, that's my prediction. My prediction is the next two earnings will be pretty bad and the stock market won't rally real heavy. I think that the stock market will stay roughly where it is. If, it, if not, it will probably dip even. It will probably go down further. So that's what I think will happen. So I would be very careful right now. If you were going to buy in, the best time to buy in would have been just a little while ago when it, it really hit a low point. And the reason why that might have been the best point is if there, you know, let's say there is a rally, uh, that would be great. You could buy in now if there's going to be a rally after the earnings reports, you could buy in now. But let's say that, uh, you know, actually the earnings reports are really bleak, like, okay, literally no one's buying anything. Everyone's unemployed and the government's printing money like crazy and going into debt, right? So let's say that's the truth, and that's how I think it probably will be. Uh, well, then what'll happen is the stock market should fall back down. So if you buy, when the stock market kind of bottomed out a little while ago, I can't remember how long ago it was, but when you bought it, when it bottomed out from earlier, then when the, if the stock market were to fall again a little bit, you basically would just be back to where you started. You wouldn't really lose too much. And if it fell below that point, if a new bottom is reached, you would lose a little bit of money, but it won't be as bad as people who buy in right now, where the stock market has already rallied a little bit. 
So just a lot of things to think about there. Uh, you know, people who invest money, it's not quite like gambling, but it's a little bit like trying to predict the future. It's very hard to predict the future. Uh, I do not have a confident feeling in the stock market personally right now. So you should just be very careful and think strategically about how you invest money. And for, if you're no good at investing stock, if you're a casual investor, you could just buy in a little bit each month, like $100 each month. Again, mutual funds are something you should consider. Maybe a stockbroker who is a financial advisor is something to consider. But I wouldn't like go deep on anything, you know what I mean? I wouldn't go crazy. What I might do is continue to stockpile cash in case you're laid off. In case you're laid off or you're, you're struggling to make like a house payment or something like that. So if you have an emergency occur right now, now would be a terrible time for an emergency. So stockpiling a little bit of cash is probably a good idea. If you could make any monster arch tempered as difficult as Extreme Behemoth, which would you cho choose? Well, obviously Gyrotodus. What is the bu that bubbling noise coming from, Rejang? Wait, are you an actual economist? Oh, no, I'm not. I, I enjoy finance a lot, and uh, I do a lot of uh, reading for finance, and I did take micro and macroeconomics in college, but I'm not an actual economist. Uh, you know, I do it casually. I, I, can't, I don't give out, you know, I don't have any licenses for financial advice. These are just my predictions for the future for the economy. Uh, a lot of people also believe this. They believe when the, uh, a lot of, you know, the people who I watch, basically, they're, they're news outlets, uh, professionals who really do give financial advice, they, they think that when the earnings reports are posted, they're going to show that unemployment's very high and that people are not buying stuff. So they believe that the stock market right now might have had a small rally and that the rally might have been a mistake. New charge blade user here, and when I watch people with more hours play, they never charge their sword. Why is this? It's because you don't always have to charge your sword. Like, let's say you're fighting a monster who doesn't take a lot of elemental damage. Well, when you charge the sword, you gain Mind's Eye, and you gain a little bit of elemental damage, or maybe it's like Blast, right? So you gain a little bonus damage on the sword, but let's say you were only going to use Savage Axe. You don't really need to charge your sword in that case, with one exception. If the monster is going to have, like, hard hit zone... Uh, uh, hard spots, I mean, where your weapon's going to bounce off, you still might charge it just to get the mind's eye, the built-in mind's eye, which is useful. But let's say the monster doesn't have any hard points on its body, which makes your weapon reflect. Let's say it's all soft parts on the monster's body. Well, then you don't really need to charge the sword. So a great example is right here with uh, Furious Rejang. When he gets really mad, his arms become a hard spot and your weapon bounces off unless you have mind's eye or built-in mind's eye. So if you charge your, your sword, it will have mind's eye and then you can attack them on the arms and your sword won't bounce this is really useful uh, other than that you would probably always charge the sword if you were playing with like an elemental an elemental setup i would probably guess that you charge the charge the sword most of the time for the bonus elemental damage if you're not playing an elemental setup probably you don't need to all the time that's the truth so it, it's something i've noticed myself i, I can't decide if you should charge it 100 percent of the time if you're going to spend your whole time most of the time in savage axe mode i don't really see you it takes so long to charge it. Like if you get a if you get an easy opening to charge it, okay, that is one thing. But going out of your way to charge it doesn't always seem like the best practice. Why is Lance OP? Lance is the lowest damage weapon in the game, as far as I'm concerned. It falls beneath the hunting horn on the speedrunner tier list. Maybe it will rise above the hunting horn. Uh, maybe not. We'll have to see. In two months, we'll know. I think that the Lance should definitely be considered for a large damage buff because I do not even consider it a good defense weapon. The weapon I'm using now is a good defense weapon because it requires so few skills to get the damage output on the hammer all the way up. You have all these leftover slots for building in Divine Blessing Secret and you have fast walk speed and a fast sheath speed. So the hammer is great at defense. The lance is actually terrible at defense. I had a video I was going to post on that. I should post that. All right, let's see what you guys got. I'm going to join. The Lance is a terrible weapon for defense, in my opinion. Oh. Nobody's posted anything. How come my Purple Sharpness Capture Net won't capture Bronchitis? <laughs> Let's go to events, and we're going to post ext oops, Extreme Behemoth. Do you dabble in options? No, I do not. You were talking about horror movies in the past, and you haven't seen a real horror movie until you've seen John Carpenter's The Thing. Oh, I've seen The Thing. It's one of my favorites. It'll be interesting to see earning reports for all these grocery stores. Walmart profit has gone up 300% since lockdown. That's right. So if you had already owned Amazon stock, you're in a really good spot. <laughs> 
Amazon is doing pretty good, but the thing is, if you were to buy Amazon right now, you wouldn't necessarily get it at a good price. <laughs> You're not going to get a real good deal on Amazon, but hey, you know, it's a very safe stock. So if you were to put your money into Amazon, you will very likely earn more money than if that same amount of money sat in the bank. Okay, so if you've got a bunch of money sitting in the bank, it's wasting its time in the bank. You should put your money into Amazon. It's, it's just it's a better thing to do with your money. You'll see your money grow faster than when it's in the bank. That's because banks don't really, what banks do, they take your cash and then they loan it out to businesses and then banks make a bunch of money off of that. Okay, that's what banks do. So they hold on to your money and then they, they loan it out to people and they make a bunch of interest on their loans. And then they give you a small percentage of that. It's a really small percentage versus the stock market where if you take that same money and you put it into something like Amazon, uh, you can make quite a lot of money over time. It, it's not going to be like, again, it's, it's one of those stocks that's almost like overvalued because so many people want it that you're never really getting a good deal on it. And, and a lot of people who do stocks professionally, what they're looking for is a good deal. They want a high performing stock that is underpriced currently. Like, for example, Nintendo, before they released the Switch, if you bought a ton of Nintendo stock before the Switch released, you made a bunch of money because the Nintendo stock was undervalued because of the poor performance of the Wii U. However, the company itself was in a really good position to launch the next console, and if that console was successful, yeah, the stock would jump up in value. See, I, I use Nintendo as an example because you guys will understand Nintendo. A lot of you guys uh, probably kept up with Nintendo news. Hold on, let me eat and... They're probably waiting on me. I'm sorry, guys. So yeah, if you bought into Nintendo during the Wii U era and then just waited for the Switch to come out, you made a ton of money. That's an undervalued stock that then went on to perform really well. Uh, with Amazon, people already know Amazon's performing very well, so the price is high. So you could put your money there. If you're not very good at investing, you could buy Amazon stock, and it will still do better than if you didn't do anything else with your money. So if you're sitting on a bunch of cash and you're not doing anything with it, this is why you stay poor your whole life. You've got to do something with your cash that earns money. You have to have it invested. Do you have any recommend on the build for Charge Blade with Agitator and Master Touch? I've been struggling to have others' skill in playing Charge Blade. If you have trouble with charge blade skill, what I recommend is not trying to play a higher damage build, but to go put on Divine Blessing Secret and Health Boost and to play a low damage defensive build until you have gotten the practice to play well. The nice thing about playing with the defensive build is you can make a lot of mistakes in a row and it won't kill you. And in fact, you won't even have to stop and heal as much. You can just keep going. You can keep attacking and keep learning. Okay, so people don't like defensive builds, but I think defensive builds are actually good, especially for players who are still learning. Hypothetically speaking, if I was Ray Jane, would you mount me? Hypothetically speaking, if I was Ray Jane, uh, yes, I would mount you so fast. Capture and Gyarados. My problem with Amazon is the way they treat their employees. Yeah, I, I don't know if I believe any of that. Everyone's always talking about, oh, Amazon's evil, Amazon's the bad guy. They're also the industry leader. So one of the popular things to do is whenever somebody's the best at something, is to go beat up on them. I think of it as like beta male behavior, where it's threatening to you to know who's the best at something. So you go, oh, I don't like the person who's the best at this thing because it makes me feel small or I'm scared of them. I consider it like beta male fear almost. So I don't have any problem with Amazon. If they're not treating their employer employees right, their employees should try to look to move into a good competitor. Amazon's not the only company. <laughs> that has like a warehouse, you know what I mean? You got UPS, FedEx, they're both logistics, right? You got, there's there's a lot of variety of jobs out there. There's tons of jobs. America had like record low unemployment before the coronavirus. So there's lots of opportunity. There's lots of jobs out there. Let's run over here. Yeah, but not jobs that make me a millionaire. <laughs> Let's bring them under this block if we can, guys. Just joined the stream, I believe it is PC, and also wondering what the session ID is. Am I gonna make it? Woo! Zor, no! We lost Zor! What's your favorite monster? Um, Pukey Pukey. Pukey Pukey giving me the Gluck Gluck 9000. My brother just got a job at Amazon. Nice, dude. Amazon, if I had to guess, Amazon has a lot. This is my guess. Amazon has a lot of good paying jobs. That's my guess. Amazon is a com company that is on the edge of technology, leading technology, right? So uh, 
They're trying to get the best technology constantly. And whenever a company is in that position and they have a lot of cash and they have a lot of uh, they have a lot of customers, this is a good company to work for because you're going to have a lot of opportunity to grow quickly and, and move up the ladder, right? Remember what I said in another live stream? I said, if you're not going to start your own business, get a job with a good company and start moving up the corporate ladder. Because the faster you move up, move up that ladder, the sooner you can take your own earnings and use it to buy stocks and other investments like real estate. Okay, so if you're not going to open a business, you need to get a good paying job and you need to be competitive. What happens is when you're at the very bottom of a company's like, I suppose, like ladder, a <laughs> corporate ladder, when you're the guy at the bottom of the company, a good way to think of that job is you're the easiest to replace worker in that company. You don't do anything super essential. They could probably have a robot do your job if they really invested the money in the robot. So the trick is to move up the company to become more important to the company. And when you do this, they actually pay you a better rate, not just like, okay, we're gonna increase you by 10%, but basically they consider you an important asset in the company, so you get paid a better like margin. You see what I'm saying? So like, they're like, okay, we can't get rid of this person. They're, they're an essential worker. <laughs> so you, they're going to not worry so much about, oh, can we make a good profit on this person? They're gonna worry more about retaining you, uh, which actually that happened with my wife about a year after she started working for uh, the company she worked at, they offered her a really generous um, increase in pay. And that's because it turned out she was a really good worker. And they're like, all right, we don't wanna lose this worker. Because what would happen is she would go to a competitor if, she, if they didn't offer an increase in pay, she could easily go to a competitor. And that's what you wanna do. You want to, you don't want to be replaceable. You want to move up the ladder. You wanna know more about the company and then use your earnings to buy your own assets. No, Mina! <laughs> we lost Mina! <laughs> I wish that these Charybdis would disappear after he blows them up. Amazon is doing exceptionally well right now. That's right. Yeah, if you had a job with Amazon, they're going to have a ton of opportunities because they're growing. This idea, oh, they treat their employees so bad. Uh, you know what? Honestly, I feel like it's a lot of, you know, it's a lot of negative energy from people who are scared of them and consider them too powerful, whatever that means, right? They're too powerful, I hate it. Dude, it is so hard to find a good Safi Lobby. Also, what do you think about elderly parents who were bad with money, splitting up and putting their adult kids in a live financial bind? There is a point where you have to walk away from those parents and be like, look guys, I'm sorry that you do not have enough money to not go homeless but you're not gonna ru ruin my life financially. And actually, you know, there's a study on this. Boys are much better at doing this than girls. One of the reasons why girls struggle to build wealth is because somebody in their family, it could be a brother, it could be a sister, it could be a parent, inevitably, it turns out that they're really bad with money. Kind of like finding out somebody in your family is a drunk. So somebody in your family is real bad with money and they come to you asking for money. And it turns out boys are very good at telling that, that family member, no, go fuck yourself. And girls are not as good at this. Girls end up wanting to help that family member. And this keeps them poor. It is, it's kind of funny because it's almost like a... It's almost like a... Uh, I don't want to say allegory. What's the right word? Oh, I can't think of the word. It's almost like an example of what you might expect from your female politicians. They feel like they have to save everyone in the world, uh, even if it bankrupts their own country. And it's like, no, you need to go tell those countries to go after themselves, and you need to make your country wealthy. Because when you establish a, a wealthy country, the, the truth is when you become wealthy, you are in a better position to help other people. So if your parents are financially draining you, you have to do your best to help them in a way that does not bankrupt you, but does help them. But then also you need to go out and become wealthy yourself as fast as you can, because when you're wealthy, you're in a better position to help them anyways. See what I'm saying? So it's always, it's always at the beginning of your wealth building where it is hardest for, or what, let me put it another way. It's always at the beginning of building wealth where your dollars are most valuable. Okay, so when you're starting at the beginning of building wealth, the first $100,000 are so valuable because they bring in eventually the million dollars near the end of your wealth building, which are much easier to obtain because now you're earning interest on those million dollars. You have like a, you have like an asset mas machine that's, that's bringing in a little bit of income each month. So if you're a millionaire now, you could easily help your parents but you give up all of your earnings in the beginning when you're still building your wealth and this is going to keep you poor and make it much harder for you to help them. So you kind of have to tell them that you'd be like, look, if you drain me now, I can't help you later. And you gotta tell them if you have these problems, here's how to solve the problems. And then you need to say like, here's the line, I have boundaries and you can't ask for more than this. And I'm 
I'm just not gonna help you after this. Like you're gonna go, you're gonna go homeless, and I'm sorry for you that you're going homeless. I really didn't want to see that, but I have to, you know, I'm an individual and I have to protect protect my own wealth after a certain amount. So here's that amount where I'm not gonna help you anymore, and uh, you know, enjoy this as a gift, and then tell them after this is over. <laughs> And they, you know, maybe they will hear you, maybe they won't. Uh, the problem with people, when you have people in a family relationship and you don't help them financially, I think what they tend to do is they blame you and then they tr they just abuse you. They treat you wrong if you don't help them financially. Oh, I raised you. Oh, you owe me so much. I brought you into this. I think that they do abuse you. Uh, so there's a lot of guilt tripping and you just need to be, you just need to turn that off and be like, nope, this is what's right for me. This is you know your financial responsibilities are your financial responsibilities i'm not responsible for that and you can again you can help them a little bit like for example a lot of the stuff my wife and i are doing for her parents uh what we did was we bought them a very small house well first of all we did help them just straight up financially w with her mother's uh, cancer treatment which was very expensive but then we're doing this other thing where we're, we've moved them into a small home and we we bought their old home off of them to give them cash. So we didn't just straight up give them cash. What we did was we bought their home from them. And then what we're doing now is we moved them into a tiny home, a retirement home with low taxes, low uh, insurance costs. When you buy a home, you have to pay uh, insurance on it. So it's gonna be lower tax, uh, property taxes, it's gonna be lower insurance costs. Ma uh, maintaining the house is gonna be easier for them. There's no upstairs, downstairs. Well, actually there is a downstairs. Uh, but there's no like upstairs or anything like that and uh, so they're gonna go they're gonna get real old in this house and it's gonna be cheaper uh, if something were to go wrong in the house the loss will be smaller so a lot of reasons to move them into this oops i didn't mean to do that and then we're taking their old home and we're going to sell it off uh, to compensate for all of the losses so this is kind of like a it's a situation where we made a financial decision for them that they should have been making and that is downgrading to a smaller home so we're making a, a financial decision for them and they can't do anything about it because they accepted selling their home to us. Uh, and then what we didn't do was we didn't just give them a ton. Of, what we could have done is we could have sold their old house and given them a ton of cash. That's what we could have done. We could have sold their own house and what are you doing, man? What? <laughs> that was weird. Oh, I grabbed him. So we could have sold their own whole old home and given them a bunch of cash. Look at that, he just knocked me off because he took me into the out of bounds zone. We could have given them a bunch of cash at the sale of their home, but we decided that this would actually be an opportunity for them to basically just waste all of that money. That's what would have happened. We realized they couldn't be trusted with money, so it would be better if we make the decision for them. So this is like an example of being able to help your parents with their money. If they if they have a serious serious problem with spending, some people have a spending problems kind of like drunks have a drinking problem, right? It, it's called like shopping addiction or buying addiction. And they just, they have no capacity to save money and you know, it sucks. They should be more aware that they have the addiction and they should do, they should look for therapy and help and, and learn about finances to try and break out of it. But anyway, so some people have that problem, and if you were to just hand over a bunch of money to them, they would just take that money and throw it into a black hole. They'll buy lottery tickets, they'll buy beer, they'll buy a car they shouldn't buy, they'll just buy a ton of stuff, uh, and then all that money will be gone, and you will be poor because you are not able to build wealth, and they will still be poor. So again, this is why you try to help them in a way like buying a house for them uh, that you control, but they can't control it. But just giving them cash when you need to build wealth is just going to keep you poor, and that means you're not going to be able to help them later in life. I hope that helps. That's a really long response. <laughs> they had a show on a &E about enabling people. It was called Intervention. I like my hot fish. Fatalis is overrated. Yes, Frank is cool, but not cooler than me. Bless the hot fish. Valstrax is not overrated. Valstrax is dope. I have a, I have a problem problem. Gotta, gotta have that taken look at it. Er, gotta take a look at that. That's what I'm trying to say. But yeah, it's, it's a very interesting problem. It's something I've talked about in the past where I realized, you know, we have money problems in general in our country, and I don't actually believe that handing people cash will fix their money problems. Very often, people have money problems because of the choices that they're making, how to spend their money, how much money to spend, going into debt for things they don't need, like a fancy car. You do need a car, but you actually don't need a fancy car. You, you could use a... Oh, that's not good. <laughs> you need a car, but uh, if you get a fancy car, you're basically going into debt and paying interest on this luxury item that you never needed. 
So people just make constant bad financial decisions and then the country is bankrupted and it, you know, $23 trillion of debt and everyone's like, why are we in debt? Why are we in debt? It's because you, you make really bad choices all the time and then you vote for politicians that will give you money. That's why, that's why the country has, what is it? The second worst debt problem in the world. America is a debtor country. We just have tons of debt. We pay interest on it rather than being a, a country with a very low interest. There's so much money that's given out as interest, all that money could have been saved. Oh. <laughs> Hope this is far enough away. I think they jumped too early. Yeah, they did. Slade! <laughs> So yeah, uh, just throwing money, just throwing money at people who have a spending problem will not solve the problem. They need help to overcome their bad financial decisions. That's what they need. And if you can't give them that help or they won't accept it, you could give them housing, you can give them food, but if you give them money, they would just throw it away. They would just throw your money away and it will keep you poor. That is the problem. Special assignment, Sterling Pride. We're coming, Alpi. Alpel. Just tried helping a guy with the Master Rank 200 quest, and guess what? The asshole leaves after fainting twice, just as Tio and Luna do their bond attack. Guess what happened to me? <laughs> well, just because he dies doesn't mean that you... Well, I'm not going to... I don't care. <laughs> Can we crossplay with PlayStation 4 yet? Yep, crossplay's out, everyone. Uncle Morales. I can't wait for Fatalis. Fatalis confirmed. Eat a meal. Let's go ahead and have this safeguard. What do you guys want to talk about? We should talk about some fun stuff. I wonder what's in the news. What are they saying in the news? Jacksonville, Florida opens its beaches and parks. Ohio racetrack owner, I'm not asking, I'm opening. Democrats grill Pence over COVID-19 testing. Never been so mad about a phone call. New COVID-19 crisis hits ICUs as more pa patients need dialysis. Areas without stay-at-home orders see a sudden spike. Trump says states like Michigan and Minnesota should be liberated. What? Cuomo to Trump. How many times do you want? Thank you. Analysis, Trump tweets warnings at governors who are taking his own advice. Imagine that. Wow, man. Fox News and CNN are so dramatic. California study finds actual coronavirus case count may be 85 times higher than reported. Whoa. Pregnant nurse with coronavirus dies of illness. Baby saved via emergency C-section. Dude, that's tragic. Texas rehab facility sues to overturn coronavirus order banning patient discharges. What? United States mounts probe to determine, determine if virus escaped Wuhan, Wuhan lab. Huh. Teenager sues over order to delete post about coronavirus recovery. What? All right. Let's run on out there and get beat up. Oops, wait a second. I went back to... <laughs> Alright, here we are. Let's go ahead and grab some hot pepper. I think I already have some. Run over here. Well, let's put on our temporal mantle, I think. Schmitty says, so good news today, question mark? You wouldn't know by the news stations. Actually, you know, the death rate where I live was quite small. We did not experience a lot of death from coronavirus. So all of the... Um, all of the staying at home and 
quarantining ourselves must have been pretty effective, I guess. Capcom should remove the freaking handler. That's what that's what my things at least of him. I trust the who more than you. The CCP knows best for me. <laughs> the CCP knows best for me. Let me tell you somebody who does not like the CCP. The Chinese people <laughs> are constantly, you know, constantly trying to host uh what do they call them? Not marches. The, basically, people who would like to fight the CCP and call out their corruption and protest against them. And then they were told, to, Shh, you're not allowed to say that. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and shut this down. No protests. I'm going to go ahead and turn on a different song request. The new... The news just love being dramatic to get views. I, I agree. Don't be mad at the handler. She does the most important thing in Monster Hunter, making food. What's better with Impact File Charge Blade? Say it or Savage Axe? Uh, Savage Axe. I shouldn't have done it. I took the side as an opportunity to use a spinning aerial, but he, Kieran's body is just too small. She steals my credit as well. Trump is literally the dumbest pre- literally the dumbest president. Literally. Let's put this over here, Rocksteady Mantle. Go ahead and give out the damage buffs, huh? Make a demon drug, demon powder, and my seed. I kind of want them to be on the main wheel. Oh man, I love this song, really. Oh, he's hurt. Got on the same side of him. Oh, and he's dead. I think the spikes killed him. Weird. Jay Drick says, literally shaking. <laughs> Game economist, how old are you? I'm 31 years old. Getting older. Turn 31 in April, so. Kieran Azura Horn. Wow. Can you use the Demon Lord Beast Buster sticky build for Master Rank Cold Taroth? You can. You probably don't want to, though, because you're going to get more damage out of elemental damage. Uh, elemental ammo on the heavy bowgun and light bowgun. So if you think you're going to do more damage than the elemental ammo with the heavy bowgun, you're just wrong. What you could do is in the last stage when she sheds her mantle, then you could swap over to sticky ammo and try to play crowd control for the team by getting two KOs on her. Is it still better to build for raw damage on the greatsword hammer? Yeah, you still want to build raw damage on greatsword and hammer. Grab all these. What do we got here? Mighty Jewel. How's it going, Deskinosido? Right over here. The Disintegrating Blade. I tried killing the Behemoth 15 times, lost every time. What should I do? Give up and just go to Iceborne. The Behemoth is a specific kind of monster where he's designed so that if you're fighting him solo, you do not get, like, lower health. 
uh, and lower his own, or not lower his own, lower um, thresholds for like crowd controlling him. He's a, he's an upscaled monster. He's been scaled for four players. So if you want to defeat the behemoth, you need to have a team of four, okay? You can do it by yourself. In fact, there's a role in the Discord where if you can solo regular behemoth wearing old high rank armor and high rank weapons, you get a special role in the Discord server for that, our Discord server. Uh, but yeah, he's he's really not going to be that easy if you try to fight him by yourself. You need to fight him with the team. If Monster Hunter World monsters were real, which of the monsters would be most dangerous to society? Um, pukey pukey. Even when someone makes an anti-elder trap, it won't work. What? Wait, he's going to be down beneath. I noticed Demon Powder never seems to activate the, um, what's the name of the skill? Free Meal Secret. I think maybe because it's a powder rather than a food. Alright, there's Demon Drug. Demon Powder. And my seed. I wish you could use an aerial after jumping off. How's it going, Dirty Monty? He says, early stream today. That's right. Sometimes we do two streams a day, and one of them is going to be early. Is cross live play... Is cross play live or sarcasm? Oh yeah, it's so live. Definitely. Hey, mister, when are we going to have cross play? When are we going to have... That's the most common question. And it's a really annoying question, because it's never... I... I highly doubt crossplay is coming. Not only that, but it would be it would take them a while to make crossplay and they probably would have announced it. So it's like you're speculating on this thing they definitely haven't announced that would be expensive for them to implement. They have no motive to implement it. They don't get paid to, to implement crossplay. So everyone keeps asking about it like it's going to happen. I don't know what gave you guys the impression that Monster Hunter World was ever going to do crossplay. Oh no, I'm paralyzed. But it's like one of the most common questions along with what's your favorite monster and what console is this? <laughs> When's up Jiva coming back? <laughs> we don't have crossplay, man. If you want to test crossplay, log into the game and see if you can play with PC players or just do like a quick Google search. G GC, I used your Klazuka build, but instead of Black Diablos, I used Digion Zenogre and I did my and I did my 600 or more. What? What's your opinion about the Gore Megala? Want it in the new world? Uh I honestly don't care. I, I want that the I want Iceborne to have difficult monsters for four players to fight, and it takes four players, uh, and because it's difficult enough that if you were to try and solo it, you have an extremely good chance of failing. You know, that's the thing. Raging Bracadillos, Furious Rajang, put on the Fort Fortitude decoration, and you have a very low chance of losing if you know what you're doing. It's, it's very easy because they scale right. They they don't have that much health when you're playing by yourself. And you bring your cat, cat can heal you, cat can revive you. We've got Feline Safeguard now. Things have gotten easier. Uh, you can even upgrade your armor to have more defense these days. We need a real difficult monster. I don't really give two flops who the heck the monster is. It could be Extreme Gyrotodus. I would not care. But we need to have something more to do than grind Raging Brachios and Furious Raging. I thought there was already crossplay. It was in the title update. What are you talking about? There was no crossplay in the title update. Who told you that? Did somebody say there was crossplay in the title update? Has anyone here played Shadow of the Colossus? Eric said there would be. Eric said there would be crossplay. What? That's news to me. I've not heard that. Two. Three. Let's see. Monster Hunter World Iceborne crossplay. Uh, 
how I'm looking. Oh, let me heal people real fast. I don't see crossplay. Does Monster Hunter World have cross play? I don't see it anywhere. Where did who's say, who's saying that? Monster had Mon, Monster Hunter has crossplay. I don't see it. Yeah, Jay Drick says hashtag fake news. I don't see Monster Hunter crossplay anywhere. I googled it a few times. Uh, I did not hear the developers in any of the developer diaries say we're getting crossplay. Uh, I think that maybe. Probably what you heard is Eric's Gaming say, wouldn't it be nice if we had crossplay? That's probably what happened. Nobody has said there's crossplay. Man, uh, no wonder people think there's crossplay. You come out and say Eric's claims there was crossplay. That's a lie, man. Uh, unless, I, I don't know, like maybe. <laughs> I Googled it. Sharp Reloaded says crossplay is out for consoles. Look it up. I got my 1200 stimulus payment yesterday. Anyone else got theirs? Nice, Alan. Glad to hear that. Sagar says, there's an article speculating on this from February 2020. That's all I found. That's all I found as well. I watch all of the developer diaries. There has been no crossplay announcement. So crossplay is not out for this, and people are just lying. And it's a, it's, it's a dumb thing. <laughs> Fool's gold. How many hours do you have in Monster Hunter World? Probably about 4,000. Probably a little more than 4,000. Is he going to limp? I think he's going to limp now. Let's see if I can kill him just by smacking him. Nice job, everyone. Hey, is this crossplay? No, this is Patrick. <laughs> it's a funny thing, too. Like, if it was crossplay, it's not like anything in the game would change, right? It would still be the same game. It would be the same game with a few extra people involved. You know what I mean? You will get to play with people from PC and PlayStation, or from PlayStation and Xbox, or from PC and Xbox. But it's like, it's the exact same game. Nothing changed. So people want crossplay so bad. You know what I want? Another monster. So shut your mouths. <laughs> crossplay will not actually affect the game. Crossplay will not make this game, like, dramatically better. You know what would make this game dramatically better? Another monster would. Pendants will not make the game better. More decorations for your house will not make the game better. One thing will make this game dramatically better. More monsters. More challenging monsters. Okay. Also, throwing away the Guiding Lands. <laughs> I was, I on, I'm not even kidding on that one. I'm, I honestly believe that. If you got rid of the Guiding Lands, this game would be more fun. Noah says, hey, love the content. Keep up the great work. And thanks for that, Glav Carry. Noah, thank you so much, Noah. That's so generous of you. Man, that's awesome. Elliot says, I gotta go. See you later, Elliot. Armando says, oof. Maju says, Raging Bracky, Sword, and Shield. Broman says, Dude, SpongeBob was my childhood. Nicholas says, How far behind will I be if I started Monster Hunter World right now? Well, you know, if you could blaze through the base game story and then jump right into Iceborne, you won't be that far behind, honestly. Because after you finish the Iceborne story, you can basically go on a pathway to going straight over to Raging Bracadillos. The moment you run into Raging Bracadillos, just pick up one of his weapons, and you have an endgame weapon. Okay, so I think you could power up real fast in this game. WTF says, can you explain what you said about Raging Bracky Fortitude build, please? Uh, basically, WTF, I was suggesting that while Raging Bracadillos and Furious Rajang are the hardest monsters we've gotten so far in terms of, like, individual monster fights, if you go fight them solo, they actually scale down so that, that right away makes them easier. 
The second thing is we've got one revive from our cat and we've got feline safeguard at the canteen. That makes the whole game easier. And then if you just throw on fortitude, you're going to beat raging Bracadillos and you're going to you're going to beat uh, Furious Raging easy because as you die, your character is going to power up significantly. So this is something a lot of people know. Maybe you're new to the game and you don't know this. The Fortitude decoration is the most powerful decoration in the game, but it's only useful in single player, right? So you would use that power up real hard once you die twice, and then you still got Feline Safeguard watching your back. So you've still got another life left if you were to die again. So uh, I don't consider them that difficult. We need an extreme behemoth like fight in the game. It's been, what has it been, like seven months since the game has launched? We do not have that game. Maybe they just consider casual Monster Hunter to be a better business model. I don't know. Uh, they've given us all this microtransactions like handler outfits, pendants, which the pendants, to be honest, are very, they're great looking. I like the way they look. So I'm not against pendants and I'm not against the house, but we've been given all this stuff like the house and the pendants, but no more extreme behemoth fights, which I find to be tragic. I think it was a big missed opportunity for Capcom at this point. Uh, I think that they should have been watching out for their veteran hunters, especially all of the new veteran hunters that they would have developed from all of the practice that we've gotten from the base game. You know, there's a lot of people who came into this game going, wow, this game's cool. And uh, we've all gotten, you know, my sp I I'm a perfect example of this. I've gotten better at it. I've got all the gear. <laughs> and then they just release another very easy... Iceborne's supposed to be the new G rank, right? It's supposed to be difficult. It's not difficult at all. It's super easy. So... I don't know what to say, man. Uh, I just, I wish that they would start. I suspect they might do what I'm talking about with the Latreon, but damn, they took their sweet time, man. They took their sweet ass time with bringing out a Latreon. And once he comes out, I'll probably have something to do and nothing to complain about, which will be good because I do a little too much complaining sometimes. God damn, I'm trying to, it keeps eating the Mega Potion, or not the Mega Potion, the Max Potion. I'm trying to have the Mega Potion. My joystick thinks I'm trying to send it downward. I'm not. All right, but anyways, uh, Thank you, Dog Hunter, for the donation, by the way. He says we need a Monster Hunter-like Frontier G. Uh, we just need Monster Hunter with a combination of really difficult fights and uh, casual fights. But it can't just be casual fights. I, I don't really think that Raging Bracadios was that difficult. I think that probably Capcom is underestimating how much of their core audience has improved at this game. We know everything there is to know about it. We know about his zones. We know about, you know, like what they don't tell you with the Hunter notes. We've got the his zones. We understand weakness exploit, crit boost, crit eye, the, the exponential damage increase when you're using this combination. We understand how to cheese a monster with the sticky ammo or how to cheese a monster with uh, basically the gun lance, which is so good for both defense and offense at this point. There's so much we understand about this game. I really feel they're underestimating that. And uh, so they keep throwing out this casual content and we're finally getting a Latreon. But this game launched last year in September. September, November, December, January, February, March, April, May. Think about how long we've been waiting for a monster like Elytron. It's way too long. They took too long. They should have done it in the first three months, honestly. And Guiding Lens, again, I've had time to think about it. Just scrap the whole thing. Throw it away. I don't want to have to go and fight a monsters for the Guiding Land super grind. I think they've realized it too. That's why every time Dev Diary comes out, there's like some new trick in the Guiding Lands to make it less annoying. Like the latest, the, the Banish Ball or whatever it's called where you can get rid of a monster you don't want to fight. You know why they added that, right? Because they know that the Guiding Lands is probably the least fun part of the game. You go in and you grind for like one material. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, okay, it's a monster you've already fought and you've always had access to it, but you have to go into the Guiding Lands, take your Guiding Lands area up to level seven, just so you can fight that monster one more time to gather one material from that monster so that you can get some sort of upgrade on your charm or augmentation. It's so stupid. It's, it's almost like an artificial in length, uh, artificial delay in the game that's supposed to give the game more replayability or something, but it actually is incredibly boring and annoying. This is my PC account. You know what I should be doing on my PC account right now? I should be in the Guiding Lands. The best thing I could do with my PC character is go into the Guiding Lands and grind for Guiding Lands materials. I don't play Guiding Lands because it's stupidly boring. It's like, actually, you guys agree with me too. I know you do. Because I stream this game every single day. You want to know when I have the lowest audience in Monster Hunter? Is any time I go into the Guiding Lands. Any times I do gameplay for the Guiding Lands, my audience for the live stream drops dramatically. Because nobody wants to watch it. Nobody wants to watch Guiding Lands. It's super boring to watch. Dog Hunter says they should have added Valstrax instead. Hell yeah, man. Uh, you know what's funny about Valstrax? They have the Valstrax moveset with the wings. 
you know, the fight against Shara Ishvalda, I, th I thought we were... Uh-oh, am I dead? <laughs> I thought we were going to get uh, Valstrax because when you fight Shara Ishvalda and he's still in his rock form, he does that wing move where he shoots one wing out like in a, in a big jab. And that's like one of those moves that Valstrax had. So I'm like, oh man, they got the move set for Valstrax. When are they going to announce Valstrax or am I going to run into him later in the game? Nope. <laughs> they just, uh, you know, borrowed the move from a previous game and never brought Val Valstrax in. They could bring in Valstrax. They could bring in Gormagala. They can bring in so many monsters. They just, uh, you know, they're very slow with content. Is one of the things I've learned about Capcom. They really take their time. Uh, and the game is well polished, which you have to give them credit for that at least. The game is very well polished. But here they are, you know, they're only now launching the Arch Tempered Elder Dragons all this time later, seven months later. You get the Arch Tempered Elder Dragons. The Arch Tempered Elder Dragons are like the higher level difficulty that they could have launched at the very beginning of the game. They could have launched Arch Tempereds at the beginning of the game. Because we had just finished spending all our time in base game with Arch Tempered Monsters. We already had been fighting Arch Tempered Monsters the entire time, waiting for, our, you know, Iceborne to launch. So Iceborne launches, no Arch Tempered Elder Dragon difficulty? Why? Is it because all the people who bought Iceborne had never played Arch Tempered? No, like most of them had already played Arch Tempered Monsters. It, it's, it's silly. Their, their delay on content is most definitely going to be a strategy to keep the game alive and relevant while they're working on their next game. And uh, I, I just... Uh, here I am playing, I guess. Uh, but the problem is I'm probably going to switch over to another game because it's, it's so slow. I stopped playing the game for several months because of the Guiding Lands. Right, so if anything in this game will burn you out faster, uh, it will be the Guiding Lands. <laughs> you'll play Guiding Lands, you'll pick up the materials you need, and then you will look at your screen and be like, well, now I'm bored. I can't I can't keep playing this. Who else has noticed that Vilcana copies Zamtrios moves? Does, does Vilcana... Vilcana doesn't copy Zamtrios, does she? Schmidt says, is crossplay enabled? Crossplay is not enabled. Not that it matters. Brandon says, I hate that in the Guiding Lands you have to interrupt your fight to pick up the material. Exactly, it's so dumb, dude. I hate that. You gotta, sh you gotta sheath your weapon. It's funny because it actually punishes slower weapons uh, more than fast sheathing weapons. So if you're using, like, let's say, a gun lance or a heavy bow gun, you gotta take your sweet ass time putting that weapon away so that you can pick up all the little materials on the ground. <laughs> it's just not. A, I'm not a big fan. <laughs> Capcom is TGE Sugar Daddy. It sure is. Brandon says, "Hello, new player here. Found your videos and have been learning a lot. I was wondering if there was a complete light bow, competitive light bow gun or heavy bow gun that doesn't rely on Sofajiva armor. I hate killing myself." Well, Brandon, you never needed to use the Safajiva armor. Okay, so Safajiva armor is optional. Uh, people use Safajiva armor on elemental bowguns in order to deal a little more damage with the elemental bowguns, and they tend to get away with this because, you know, since you're fighting from a distance anyways, you usually take on less risk than other weapons do. However, if you're looking for an alternative build for elemental ammo, what you'll want is four pieces of the Silver Rathalos armor set and the Garuga legs. Okay, so the Ian Garuga legs are really efficient for building crit eye, uh, as well as having a lot of open decoration slots, and then the four upper parts of your body are going to have the Silver Rathalos armor set. Chi says, is cross-dress enabled? <laughs> That's right, cross-dress is enabled. <laughs> Cheese, what the heck? You're using <laughs> you're using the super chat, cheese? You're supposed to be using the <laughs> Even Cheese using Super Chat. I doubt there will ever be crossplay with PC mods and PlayStation exclusives. I mean it's possible, God Terror Boy, but I really don't think that they should spend their time on that. I think they should be spending all their time on bringing in another monster. That's exactly what they should be working on right now. We have a serious lack of content right now. Crossplay is not new content. Crossplay is, you won't even notice it. So if they implement crossplay, let me tell you what you will experience with crossplay probably. More disconnects. Wow. <laughs> if if Capcom implements crossplay, they will take their engineers and, and their resources, and rather than throwing that money at making new monsters, they will instead connect you to other people, I guess, which is nice in a way. But they will do that. You will probably have more disconnects. The game will not change at all. You will have no new content. It, you know, when you can play with people on PC, nothing changed. You don't have any new quests. It's just, <laughs> I can play with the guy on a PC. That's all it is. So they took their resources and threw it at that rather than bringing in new, a new monster. You gotta be kidding me, guys. Come on. It's, it's a nice idea, but we have a serious content drought right now, and they should address the content drought first. 
Brandon says, thank you so much. I'll start farming for it now. You're amazing. Thank you, sir. No problem, Brandon. It is ma'am. Bring on rust. What do you think will happen after Elatrion? We will probably get one more monster, is my suspicion. If we're lucky, maybe two more monsters. But I do not think we will get much more than that. I think that they will announce their next game, and then they will probably stop support of Iceborne. Unless they... You know, I could be I could be 100% wrong on that. Any, it's anyone's guess, but that's probably what I would do if I was Iceborne. If I was Capcom, I would I would get one more monster out to keep the hype up, and then I would use that monster as like a teaser for the next game. I'd be like, ooh, next game. You guys coming back? And then I would, I would uh, you know, go into hibernation mode for a little while. People would probably stop playing my game. And then I would get the next Monster Hunter game out. For all you know, they might have been working real hard on the Monster Hunter, the next Monster Hunter title already. Monster Hunter Universe, right? Oops. Oh my god, do you ever sleep? Yeah, I, I do. I get sleep. I just sleep at odd hours. Silver Rathalos armor is going to be bad for Arch Temper Namiel because his water and thunder element is so negative. No, I mean, it does help to have the correct, you know, it does help to have the correct resistances, but you can eat at the canteen to get plus 15 elemental resistance in all elements. So if you're really worried about taking a little extra damage, just go and uh, have the right meal at the canteen. TGC, you have seen the Funko Pop that GameStop released called Man. <laughs> what? GameStop released it themselves? No, I have not seen that. <laughs> It's not an MMO, so they aren't really obliged to keep updating the game. Exactly. This is this is not going to be the kind of game where they keep updating it constantly. They already announced that Iceborne would be the only uh, the only expansion for, for World. Are they adding True Crit and Element to Cold Weapons? That is a good question. Uh, we don't know yet. We, what we do know is that Critical Element is on the old Cold Weapons. So very likely uh, they will continue to have those. Uh, and in the best case scenario, that's exactly what happens. The cold weapons come with true crit built in. I wish they would make one one game, then only just make expansions for, for that from then on. Some game companies do that. For example, Destiny will release kind of like a base platform, Destiny 2 in this case, and then they just keep building on it. Uh, and eventually we'll get Destiny 3. So yeah, some game companies really do try to do that, and uh, it's, it's not required, I guess. I don't know. Every company needs like a monetization scheme, you know what I mean? So if, if a company can make enough money with that, then yeah, go for it. I don't see the problem. Cove weapons will probably just be crit element and crit status. Yeah, we'll find out though, because it would be nice if maybe you could upgrade them to be true crit. You know what I mean? Can you please explain how I can use drugged meat against monsters? Uh, Okay, Drugged Meat's actually one I, I don't know a lot about. I don't think hardly anyone uses it. There's only one case where I've used drug Meat. Actually, two cases. You can use it against Devil Joe, and you can use it against um, Odo Garen. And what'll happen is, Odo Garen will, if you give him, like, Sleep Meat, I know if he eats it, he'll actually go to sleep. But I believe they have to be exhausted for this to happen. I think my neighbors are having sex. There's a bunch of noise coming above me. <laughs> That's why I keep pausing. Kind of silly on their part, on stopping with content for the game, they can still make a lot of money with Monster Hunter World. Come on, man. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. Oh, really? I'm not dead. Look at that. Oh, what? You can grab his head when he goes into the, um, into the big beam, and it's not going to kill you. This guy's an expert at killing you when you have Rock Steady on. He's got KO any second. There he goes. One, two, three. Four. Imagine if this was a pure damage build, our damage numbers would look crazy. Parts broken, man. We're doing good for breaking the head. Let's go ahead and get the Mega Demon drug now. Probably should have done this earlier. Did I do it earlier? I don't think I did. Alright, so everyone's damage is up. We're gonna wreck the heck out of this guy. Oh, 
Oh, we lost our uh, white sharpness there. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Oh no. No, 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 no. Give me up. <laughs> Sorry, I'm looking at the game now. Capcom needs to put Nemesis in the game and use the Leshen Skeleton. Crimson Kadashi Lion. I think we might see any Nargakuga subspecies variants in the next update. Oh, let's smack this guy in the head. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Then we begin to rock. Steady, steady, rockin' all night long, and we begin to rock. Oh my god. <laughs> steady rockin' till the break of dawn. <laughs> Kyle says, it would normally kill you, but since the hammer jumped so high for the tenderizing attacks, it took you out of the range. What? He's exhausted. He's not exhausted. He's in the drool state. Come on, come on. There we go. When are we gonna get that second KO? There's the second KO. Come on, longsword player, don't be that way. God, dude. Our longsword player is allowed to play this game at all. I'm gonna send him flying. Ouch. I'll go ahead and heal. <laughs> Parts broken. That's the head, guys. Good job, everyone. Now you just break his. You just kill him. How's it going, Germakin Ban? Broman says the Narga Kuga variant will be Narga Puma. You won't gotta buy all the pendants, or Capcom won't any more monsters. They need money. Weep says, would both be viable for fighting Safi for the first time? Yeah, sure. Why not? Did that just hit me? I don't understand. Why does it hit you sometimes? What's the build you're using right now? We're using a, a uh, healer build for our teammates. So we're just... I, I'm not really paying close attention to the game. I'm, pay, I'm paying close attention to the chat. So in order to do that, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm, I'm running wide range and I'm playing more of a support role. Let's go ahead and soften them up. Hey, what game is this? <laughs> should, should I buy Iceborne? <laughs> Let's go ahead and heal. When is Cove coming back for high rank? Good question. Tomorrow. I have no idea. When's Zapajiva coming back? When's Cove coming back? We ought to have like an auto response that says go look it up with the Capcom schedule. Nice job. He's out of here. Woo! How's it going? He says, keep, really love your vids. Keep grinding. Thanks, man. Any recommendations for bow build? On a bow, you definitely want to have mighty bow. Okay, so mighty bow is real important. Then you want to have your spread shot decoration and your normal shot decoration. And if you have two of them, that's even better. Uh, for damage, you typically want to go for an elemental damage build. Uh, it depends on what armor you have for this. But once again, the silver Rathalos armor comes into play here. Neil Grace says, love you. Thanks, Neil Grace. Um, but yeah, so you will want to have either silver Rathalos. I'm trying to remember. Do people actually run uh, Safajiva bow builds now? They do, right? Yeah, Safajiva bow builds are a thing. And you'll probably want to have, I can't remember, they, they said, was it one constitution, two stam surge is optimal for getting your, your stamina up. You'll want to have an energy drink in your item loadout. Keep drinking those. Those help tremendously. So if you had to give a skill up, I would start giving up stam surge and constitution and just go with the energy drink. It makes a big difference. It really kind of covers the loss of those skills. Uh, and then you probably want to have uh, the elemental attack type of for your bow so if you have like an ice bow you want to bring the elemental attack you want to bring the ice attack boost skills onto your bow james says do you see a good chance that elatrion will be an easy fight because of the odds from raging bracky furious raging stuff elatrion will very likely be our version of behemoth that's my guess if they do not make him the iceborne version of behemoth it will be a huge missed opportunity and i don't know what to say the game will basically be over in my opinion there won't be anything to do Across the Lost Path, I'll join that. 
Kronos just subscribed. Wait. When I walk in the spot, yeah, this is what I see. Okay, everybody stops and they staring it. Oh my gosh. Me, I got passion <laughs> into my pants and I ain't afraid to show it, show it, show it, show it. I am sexy. And I know it, I am sexy and I know it. Is that, is that song old now? Isn't that, isn't that wild to think that that song's old now? Man, time moves fast. Did I say energy drink? I meant dash juice. Dash juice. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, dash juice with the bow. Energy drinks are not the same as dash juice. You want to use dash juice with the bow. Sorry about that. It's probably because I'm talking and playing too much. All right, let's go ahead and have a meal. Oops, can't have that, apparently. Thank you for getting me to Master Rank 200 and getting the Shara Tender Plate, Mr. Game Cogmist. Hey, I'm glad you got it, man. Alright, run over here. It's Fature! Who are we fighting? Oh, we're fighting uh, Stitch and Zenogar. Let's go get him. Do I have a hot drink? I think I have a hot drink in the setup, right? Yeah, I do. Sweet! Is the Raging Bracky Teostra Combra the meadow now? Uh, for damage, in a lot of cases, it is. Yeah, for damage, in a lot of cases, it is. But you know what? I don't actually agree with pure damage builds. I think that I enjoy uh, mixed defense offense builds. So I actually prefer to still have uh, Divine Blessing Secret. Divine Blessing Secret is stupidly overpowered, and it's such good defense that I actually will give up offense for it. Just go fighting Behemoth for a challenge. Master and Cure doesn't help you. Is the Raging Bracky Teostra combo the meta now? Heck yeah, TGC is still streaming. How's it going, Omad? It was me, Dio. Dio! Make sure to like the stream for DJ Cheese. <laughs> I'm lonely and bored. Oh, we've come to the right live stream. Let's go ahead and have this Mega Potion. <laughs> How old are you? <laughs> Let's go ahead and smack him on the head. Fature. Divine Blessing 3 and Health Boost 3 is God Mode. Divine Blessing 5 and Health Boost 3 is God Mode. It really is quite hard to die. But you know, if the monster manages to land two or three moves on you, uh, and Divine Blessing Secret does not proc in that time, which it doesn't happen often, but it does actually happen, that's still pretty good at shutting you down, because really, at that point, you're only running health boost, if you think of it that way. Like, you're only having the effects of health boost, if that Divine Blessing doesn't proc for you. Did we just unsuccessfully throw him into nothing? Supposed to throw him into a wall. Let's grab this real fast. I can help. I got my. Come on now. Dude, he's jumping all over the place. All right, we'll just move up to that body part. Oh no! No, we didn't turn him into anything. He all mad now. <laughs> that sucks. I guess I thought I was on the other side of his head. <laughs> GE, one hit Safi video win. <laughs> Sorry, we're gonna one shot Safi Jiva. Are you ever gonna do face reveal? That's a very common question. Uh, yeah, I will do a face reveal. I was thinking about doing it at like 200,000 subscribers. Or we could do, I don't know. I, if you guys can think of a reason for me to do a face reveal or like some event or something, maybe I'll consider it. Are you ever, oh, I already have answer that one. I'll open up an OnlyFans. I'll let you guys pay some. Uh, I'll let you guys take me out to dinner on OnlyFans. Can I ask what's the difference between energy drink and dash juice? Thanks for all your videos. Energy drink will wake you up and I'm trying to remember what else it does. I know energy drink will keep you from falling asleep. I'm trying to remember if it does anything else. <laughs> he was turning him into the wall and I stopped him. I didn't mean to do that man. I was just playing usual hammer.
<laughs> Three, four, five. <laughs> I threw that guy twice. Oh, he actually roared. Okay. Oh, of course, because he got wall splatted. Let's have a demon drug. Demon powder. Might seed. Oops. What's the difference? Oh, I already answered that one. T today is Friday pizza night. Oh man, that sounds delicious. <laughs> Friday pizza night. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I heard that the pizza companies are all hiring because people are ordering pizza. It raises your stamina as well, says T.Y. Harlan. Thanks, T.Y. Harlan. I, I very rarely ever use the energy drink. Oh, Jenny, no. Jenny, who can I turn to? You give me something I can hold on to. I know you think I am. What? Like the others before who saw your name and number on the wall, Jenny, I got your number. I, I don't know that one. If you mind, Jenny, they'll change your number 8675309. Oh. <laughs> you got to hear those numbers to recognize it. <laughs> I think I just messed up Fature there. Sorry about that, Fature. Uh, Fature, it doesn't matter, actually. Alpel left the session. <laughs> We're lagging out, man. Eight six seven nine three oh five. Yeah, that's an older one though. GE, I'm a eat a mice team. Are you a fat OL? I'm not like super fat, but I'm definitely out of shape. What is a good money farm? A good money farm? Actually, Kulv Taroth is a very good money farm. So if you want to make a lot of money fast, go fight Kulvy Wolvie. In real life, a good money farm? Uh, you gotta throw it back. Wait, I don't wanna play this. Jared Totus is. Not going to reward me very well. Let's see. I'm tranquil. I'm sound. Wait, wait. That's an event quest. How about this special assignment? Across the... Oh. It says I can't join. Oh, we were just doing that one and I backed out of it. What the heck, guys? You guys got to post some tough stuff. All right. I'll, I'll join this one. Why not? Steve says, I think the game froze. That sucks. Are you fat OI? What does OI stand for? Let's go ahead and manage items. I used to be really, really in shape. So even being a little bit out of shape is so weird for me. Sorry about that. My game froze and I was disconnected. Yeah, one of my jobs, I had to, I used to throw trucks for like Target and then I did it for Sears and then I, what did I do after that? Threw truck for Sears, true through trucks for Target. I worked for UPS and then I had a job with Coca-Cola for a really good job with Coca-Cola for two years right before going to college and that was an extremely physical job and it just keeps you in shape so well and you could just eat anything you want it doesn't matter because you you just burn it all off and so I quit that job and I started going to school and it's such a difference in what you do like you know you, you go from every day working out for like 12 hours to sitting down at a desk <laughs> and uh, reading a book and that's all you do you just open your book and do your your studying and your math homework and all that the right software so you 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 go from complete exercise every day to zero exercise very quickly uh, but you still get exhausted from from doing work at a computer it exhausts you all the same uh, but the sad thing is I, I didn't catch up on my eating habits right away <laughs> and I, I'm I'm getting back into exercising but <laughs> it's, it's uh, it's hard to really with this job because I work and I work and I work on YouTube, but this is all done from a computer. Gaming is done from a computer, uh, and I have that card channel too, but that's not, you know what I mean? That's not physical labor either. So I don't have any physical labor for my work, and it's so easy to just like work for 10, 12, 16 hours some days, and then not really, not really go work out after that, but maybe just relax and eat and shower, you know what I mean? <laughs> It's funny, when I was in college, my one of my college professors, who was really old, was talking about how people used to have labor jobs where you would get paid to do the labor, and now you pay for a gym membership to work, you know, to work out. Basically, you pay somebody else to give you the opportunity to work out. And she would talk about that, this computer professor, computer science professor. And I, I totally feel that now. I'm older, and I'm like, man, maybe I should get a gym membership, right? So my wife and I were just talking about that the other night, maybe getting a gym membership. 
And it's funny because again, I used to work and earn money for lifting things, and now I'm thinking about <laughs> going to this gym and paying somebody else money to let me be in physical pain. <laughs> so it's, it's just, it's very funny. It's, it's almost ironic. I have 600 star badges. What the heck am I doing with them? What? What do you invest in nowadays in Corona time? What do you think will be profitable in the future? Uh, I know this is probably going to sound goofy to you, but I'm investing pretty heavily in Pokemon cards. I'm investing in Pokemon cards. I've been doing it for about nine months. I started out very casually just for fun, and uh, I consider it a, a very uh, serious form of investing at this point. Fature says, well, that was unfortunate. Oh, I'm sorry, Fature. Thanks for the donation, man. Sorry about that. I, I uh, was answering a lot of other comments. I just got to that one. Thanks so much for that. What hammer are you using? This is going to be a Safajiva hammer or a Safajiva poison hammer. I probably chose this hammer because it was probably the first Safajiva hammer I got and I just upgraded it right away. Sell non-essential items on Xbox. And what? Woo! He had the same idea I did. I was going to do that. Paying somebody money for physical pain sounds like a dominatrix, but no, you know what I mean, right? So, it used to be, it used to be that you would get a job throwing trucks and you get paid a certain amount of money to do it. Now you got to pay for a gym membership to get a physical workout, and it's, it's like the exact opposite. For somebody who did a lot of physical labor jobs, it's just kind of awkward, like, wow, I should be being paid money to do this. One of the luxuries of having a computer job. Turns out you can't cheat your body. You gotta, you gotta work out either way. Have I seen any bots? No, I've not seen any bots. Maybe, uh... Yes, leave this item. Maybe YouTube's kept up with that. Who knows? Alright, there we go. Do you have any builds for Nergi Gante Dual Blades? Nergi, Nergi, Nergi Dual Blades, um, it sounds like you are master rank 100, but you're not fighting Safajiva or Raging Bracadillos. So I would say you, you sh really shouldn't probably be using them. You could, I guess, if you wanted to. Uh, you don't have to bring Master's Touch because of the large white sharpness bar. So you would be doing a damage optimized setup with something like I don't know. I wonder if you would consider the dragon damage as a large part of your damage. Yeah, if you're not going to run the Safajiva armor set, you'll probably run Silver Rathalos still for the just for that bit of dragon damage. Can you give me a shout out? Uh, give me one moment. Can you give me a shout out? Wow, cheese is the cheesiest. <laughs> Do you buy stuff from Goop? Oh yeah, we get the Goop. Um, Goop vaginal cream. I was surprised when they revealed Garuda. That's what a lot of people were actually. And they revealed them so like casually too. They didn't really reveal them. You had to find them. Does trap spam still work? In the guiding lands? I believe it does, yeah. Alright. Those guys will be okay. For higher Big Bang damage, use Charge Tier 1, then Triangle back, then Triangle attack, then go for Big Bang. That's right. That, he's talking about for higher Big Bang damage if your weapon's not charged. That's what he means. The thing is, that doesn't always work for a moment, because if the monster has a knockdown time that's very short, what, what'll happen is they'll actually stand up before you get the last swing of Big Bang, and that's where all your damage is. So sometimes going directly into the Big Bang without charging the hammer uh, is still a better option. Just depends. Some monsters really do stand up just before you can finish. The only problem is you don't get the level of flinch free if you don't charge the hammer. So if you're playing with friends and you don't have the flinch free decoration, it can be really annoying actually. Let's go ahead and soften this. How's it going, GE? You ready for the return of the gold girl? I am ready. I'm ready to start sniffing some feet. Well, wait, we won't be doing that this time, though, will we? Huh. 
<laughs> Don't you love that move? Hmm, I don't have any traps. Wait, who'd we leave? We lost somebody again. Did we lose the guy we were helping? Aw, oh, man. That's PC for you, man. PC just DCs all day. GE versus Extreme Behemoth Turf War. Who will win? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought he was chasing after me. I just wasted that. I guess it doesn't matter if your teammates don't come over necessarily. Oh, look at that. God, God damn it. Oh, and he got out of it. God, tripping in this game is so dumb. Can eight farm softy horns with the plunder blade? Huh, that's, a, that's definitely an interesting concept, but I don't understand why you would need eight people to farm it. I'm pretty sure it would make no difference having eight people. Did you ever see the video for Project Awakening? Recently, some people have been talking about it. Where I'm just curious if you knew anything about it. No, I don't know anything about it. <laughs> Project Awakening. More like Project going back to sleep. What the hell? Just give me the... <laughs> Woo! My weapon says it has white sharpness, but whenever I fight with it, it's always blue sharpness. That's because the sharpness, every time you hit a monster, it costs a little bit of your sharpness. And so what is happening is... Wait, where'd he go? Oh, he's not, he's not anywhere over here. Damn it. Oh my god. I wonder what the toughest monster you ever fought. It's going to be Extreme Behemoth. He's still the most difficult monster. Antidepressive uh, says, I love watching you play. Thanks for the stream. No problem, man. Glad you can enjoy watching. How's it going, Trevin? He says, I'm glad I can see another epic stream. No problem. Why did I go to that? Oh, because I used a... Uh... I wonder what was... Oh, I already, I already read that one. Let's hear some drama, guys. Tell me about some drama. What's going on in your lives? Any interesting stories? Story time. Anyone's got any interesting stories? Addison Reek, Nickelodeon YouTube chat. What? Extremeth. Extremeth is easy peasy with a good group at least. Well, you know, I feel a lot of... It's hard to put together a good group. We're able to do that because we have all of these terrific Monster Hunter players and fans in our Discord group that I can ping and I'm telling them that I'm, I'm going live. And so they come in and we all kind of get in one group and things are very easy at that point. TGC, don't you hate it when you're missing that one monster part? You can't meld, but when you do the quest over, you get, and you get like five of them. Exactly. <laughs> one time I met a cat named Dave. My girlfriend left me because my mother's dog has too many children. What? My dog just died. I'm sorry to hear that, Mickles. That sucks, man. Oh, man says, what's the stream delay? It seems very long. There's usually about a half minute stream delay. Yeah, there's typically always a half minute stream delay. Nope. Achy breaky heart. Come on now. We'll help Yoshi Keg. Kaje? We'll help him out with this. One interesting story is just look at the pro wrestling side of the YouTube right now. What? <laughs> Alright, so I think what we'll do, guys, 
we're getting closer to the end of the stream. We're at one hour and 40 minutes. And after we're done, I'm probably going to jump over to my other live stream, my card stream, okay? So when we get to that point, what I'll do is I'll leave a link to it in the chat, chat room, basically. I'll leave a link to it. We're going to keep playing, though. When you decide to do late night iceborne grinding and see my favorite streamer. Oh, thanks, man. Ooh, ooh, I already answered that one. Extremeth with the randoms. Oops, left the quest. Maybe he lost or maybe he reset. Oh, maybe he disconnected or something. Interesting. Okay. Uh, well, we could post a quest. Let's go ahead and post Extreme Behemoth. Gonna be under events. Will it be on Twitch or YouTube? It's always on YouTube. It's always on YouTube. 69 says card stream. Uh, I open up Pokemon cards on my second YouTube channel. I've got two YouTube channels. Bro says I'm 14 now. Wow. <laughs> Congratulations. Let's have a gourmet voucher. My girlfriend have this severe disease called non exemption <laughs> She doesn't exist. <laughs> Alright, but don't take her to the hospital. She might get Karuna. Can I find a team to do the Safiji of a Siege on P PlayStation 4 and Game Economist Discord? Uh... Possibly, if you told everyone that you're putting together a PlayStation 4 Sophie Jiva Siege, you probably would get some guys to join you, yeah. And if it was a public, you know, if it was a public session, once you have a few people in, probably some randoms will join anyways. It can be hard getting a, it can, I, you know, I've heard a lot of complaints about uh, being able to get a really adequate team in a Sophie Jiva Siege, because it makes such a large difference. You know what I mean? If you get a really good team, you could even defeat them in one run. So it makes a big difference. You're awesome. What? Who said that? Is that cheese? It's Ven. Oh, thank you very much, Ven. <laughs> Man, for some reason, Streamlabs is not working on my side today. Do you think you would do more self-advertisement for your card stream? Uh, what do you mean by that? I, I don't know what you mean by more self-advertisement. Pierre says, I won against Extreme Behemoth earlier. Nerve-wracking and riveting experience. Nice, man. This is robbery. Give me all your zenny. Mitch says, what time do the late night Monster Hunter streams start at? Really late. So it, it's pretty random. Just like my daytime streams, actually. I must be CEO of Dunkin' Donut because I don't, I do not give a damn. <laughs> hey, dude, I'm up for some Safi on PlayStation 4. HARPG says, besides being a software engineer, what other types of engineer would also make good money? Pretty much all of them. Yeah, they're all, they all take a lot of uh, education and, and learning in order to accomplish because it's a lot of physics. It's a lot of math. Uh, and then something specific to whatever technical work you're doing. Of course, you know, one of the funny things is people think that wealth comes directly from being an engineer. Uh, they get paid very well. They're good workers, right? But the person who really makes all the money is the business owner. So you really should still be thinking about how can I move up a corporate ladder to become closer to the business owner or become the business owner myself. So don't just think in terms of being, okay, I'm a, I'm a software engineer or I'm an electrical engineer. I'm well paid. Uh, those people are never paid as much as they earn for the company. See, they're like the workers for the company. They always earn less than they're than they're doing. Becoming the asset owner is probably what makes you most wealthy. But yeah, I mean, it's it's still it's a good career. I'm not I'm not telling people to go out of it. Just be open-minded. Would you ever be willing to do a playthrough of Monster Hunter stories? Uh, maybe if somebody sponsored me to do it, because I don't think I would get actually a very large audience. But yeah, if somebody sponsored it, I'd probably do it. I'd, I'd, you know, if somebody wanted to sponsor, I'd play any game that you asked me to. I don't mind. I gotta get a, like, a real sponsor, you know what I mean? Like a company that wants to advertise their stuff. You can speak not that much about your card stream or even appraise it in your streams or videos. What? I don't know what you mean by that, James Dice. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Blaze says, I like his card streams, has more chat focus, and it's cool to just chill and chat. Aw, oh, thanks, man. I think it's just fun to open all the cards. We opened up, like, $5,000 of cards, was it two days ago? 
Oh right, this song has like that terrible background noise. I'm gonna change to a different song. Raid Shadow Legends. That's right. We need like a Raid Sh Shadow Legends sponsorship. <laughs> I play Raid Shadow Legends. It's the best game. Here's how you do microtransactions. Sponsorships in a nutshell. Please don't do Raid Shadow Legends, that game is not even a game. <laughs> well, at this point, I would just do any sponsorship because YouTube ad revenue is terrible right now. So I honestly don't care. I'm just going to take any sponsorships. Oh, and that's it. Oh, he dropped the Dragon Pods too, by the way. <gasps> oh, he knocked me out of the way. Oh my god. I think he got Dio too. Oh, that sucks so much. <laughs> we were behind the rock, but what happened there, guys, is when he fell back down, his foot was considered an active hitbox, and it cost the temporal mantle to spin me away from the rock. Oh, that's unfortunate. I like to, I like to play to North VPN. What? Get one of the VPN sponsors. I wonder if they're even hiring right now. I bet they, they probably are, but probably for a lower CPM rate. We having a stimulus stream? That's right. <laughs> oh. Alright. Flash it. I mean, I had it. I was going to take it off to the side. You save the flash for another time. All right, here we go. Oh, okay. Make sure I can get back out of there. Wow, that sucks. I guess I didn't. <laughs> Dude, he's wrecking us. Let's get this guy healed. There's the meteor. Good job on that. That's good placement. Ah, oh, too early on the roll. I'm missing all the rolls, guys. What time is it currently where I live? 5.40. Alright. Ouch. There we go. Yeah, that's gonna get me. Oh, I'm KO'd? Jesus Christ, dude. healed. Who's he after? Mina? Alright, be careful, Mina. You're really far away from the rock, Mina, okay? Look at that. Great 18 damage I did. Oh, he's still casting. Who's he casting on? Not Astro. Okay, good. Oh, I rolled into that, dude. There it is. I had one run of Extreme Behemoth where he got where he put a comet against the edge so the side you needed was unavailable to hide behind. Yeah, placement of the Whoa! Placement of the comets very important. I really like your channel MU as a person and now it's my first time seeing you live Woo. carrot carrot. 
<laughs> That's awesome, carrot, carrot. What? Wait, wait, I, I missed it. Carrot, carrot, hold on, let me see if I can get Streamlabs working. Oh, Streamlabs isn't working because it's not logged in as me. It's logged in as my uh, other YouTube account. That's why. Hold on, let me log out. <laughs> what? Oh, I gotta reread your donation to make sense of it. <laughs> what the hell? It's having me log directly in as the wrong person. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, no, dude. <laughs> Stream. It looks like Streamlabs changed their login process. Yeah, log in with the YouTube. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. You can't log in as the right person. What the hell? All right, give me a minute. I'm having trouble with Streamlabs. Here, let's try logging in. What does this do? No, we don't want that. Dude, did, did Streamlabs just screw itself with this login system? It logs you, it, it right away logs you in as the wrong person on, on YouTube. I've got like multiple YouTube accounts and it keeps logging me in as the wrong guy. So I don't get to see what's going on with the uh, super chats. I'm sorry, that's the uh, donations. Oh no. I think Streamlabs was basically broken then. They they changed their login system and it doesn't allow you to choose a YouTube account. Dude, that's so stupid. Alright, well I tell you guys what, now is probably a good time as any to wrap things up. Thank you so much for the donation. I'm sorry I couldn't reread the message. Uh, I will have to stop and try to figure out what the heck is going on with Streamlabs. Uh, Zynum, I'm, I'm trying to say your name right, Zyne Ombine says, your content and community are pretty damn cool. Spent plenty of quarantine just doing hunts with the community. Keep up the good work. Thank you so much, man. Wow, a lot of donations today. That's very generous, guys. Um, we are going to wrap up at this point. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start start, start up my card stream. However, I'm not going to do that until I have Streamlabs figured out because I can't do this without Streamlabs because what happens is people actually purchase cards live. And if I can't log into Streamlabs, I can't do the card stream. So what's going to happen, I'm going to end this stream. And I'm going to post a link to the card live stream when it becomes available. I'll post it in my Discord server like usual, okay? I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Let's go ahead and get a wave. There we go.